looking for Amazon to provide them with a fair wage, health care, and child care. Amazon is our toxic workplace of the week. I'm going to tell you all about some of the things going on behind the scenes at America's wealthiest corporation. I'm Erica Domingo. This is the Toxic Workplace Report. So let's get right to it. A transgender man has filed a lawsuit in state court in New Jersey against Amazon for gender identity discrimination and wait for it, pregnancy discrimination. The Amazon employee who identifies as male disclosed to his supervisor confidentially that he was pregnant in June of 2019. Unfortunately, that information didn't remain confidential and the supervisor spread it to another supervisor and it made its way through the workplace. The employee became the subject of discrimination and harassing comments by his coworkers, including comments from male colleagues questioning why he was using the men's bathroom if he was pregnant. This is what we call a hostile work environment in legal terms. And when the employee complained to HR about it, each time he was placed on a leave of absence. When he returned from each leave, the workplace became more and more hostile as described by the lawsuit. After returning from one of his leaves, he was placed in a position where he was forced to lift heavy items like bags of dog food and began to experience pain in his stomach. His doctor provided a note requesting an accommodation related to his pregnancy so that he wouldn't have to lift heavy items. And instead of accommodating him, Amazon placed him on yet another leave and told him he could not come back until after his pregnancy had concluded. It's unclear from the lawsuit whether the employee has returned to work or whether he's been terminated, but it seems that one of the requests in the lawsuit is for equitable return to employment. So it's likely he's not back in the workplace at Amazon, but is looking to come back to the workplace. Although under those conditions, one might wonder why he would want to go back at all. This is also not the first time that Amazon has faced a lawsuit alleging gender identity or transgender discrimination. In 2017, a Kentucky warehouse worker brought a lawsuit alleging that she and her husband were both discriminated against in the workplace when co-workers found out that she was transgender. This lawsuit comes in the wake of protests at the home of Jeff Bezos by Amazon employees who are looking for better workplace conditions in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Amazon employees who protested with banners saying tax Bezos are looking for pretty reasonable demands such as fair living wages, health care, and child care during the COVID-19 pandemic. Amazon has clapped back, saying they're doing a good job given the circumstances, and although 20,000 frontline workers at Amazon have tested positive for COVID-19, they say it's still below that of the general population. Although there's currently no evidence that the employees contracted COVID while in the course and scope of their employment with Amazon, that doesn't matter in New Jersey anymore. Recent legislation signed by Governor Murphy has placed the burden on the employers to show that the employees did not contract COVID at work and not the other way around for purposes of workers' compensation claims. This week, I'll leave you with a little update on a story we covered two months ago. Bailey the Lion, the mascot for the Los Angeles Kings hockey team, has been officially fired in light of the sexual harassment allegations that were brought against him that we covered in our fourth week of the Toxic Workplace Report. Although that's all I've got to say about these stories, we wanna hear from you. So leave a comment below and let us know what you think. 